So how can you construct a galvanic cell? You can build this in the lab. You need two beakers. I have uh, two beakers here. One beaker containing copper sulfate. You can see the blue color here indicate the copper sulfate. And the other beaker contains zinc sulfate, which is a colorless. And you have a zinc metal, which is the electrode for, for this compartment. And you have the copper electrode and for this compartment. And then you connect them through cro crocodile wires. These crocodile wires are connected to an avometer. An avometer is a device to measure the change in current, resistance, and potential. So on the left-hand side here, this is what's happening in the micro scale. So this is the macro scale. You're looking at right now, you just put two electrodes in two different solutions, in two different beakers, separated and connected by this uh, bridge. And you connect the wires, and then you get the potential. So this is the bulk. Once you connect this, you're going to start the electrochemical cell, and the zinc is going to dissolve. The electron travels through the wires, as you can see here, to the other side, which is the cathode. Now the copper ion will take these electrons and convert to copper solid. As the process progresses, over time, you're dissolving this and at the cathode, you are building the cathode. You're putting more copper solid on the cathode. So that means the cathode is getting heavier and the anode is getting lighter.